Hi, this is Katherine Dubberly, the answer lady. One of the biggest problems we have in maintaining our machines is keeping a sponge bar in good condition, ready to use. Without it, the machine just will never do its best and it can cause terrible problems to use a worn one. A lot of us have learned how to restore a sponge bar with new sponge and here I'm gonna try out a new product that comes with its own self-adhesive and is supposed to be really helpful. Let's see if it works. Okay, get ready to join me for an experiment today. I'm trying out a new sponge bar restoration method. This sponge comes from spongebar.com and it's the first time I've used it, so we'll see together if it's any good. I cleaned the old bar out using this perfectly sized screwdriver tip and then one of the orange wipe cleaners and some isopropyl alcohol to really get the channel clean and I've waited for it to dry. You can see why we need a new sponge bar. That's what came out of it. Plainly no use with our knitting. What's supposed to be great about these is that they are perfectly sized. They come with their fabric top and they come with a supposedly long enduring itself adhesive strip on the back. So let me see if I can get the application strip off and get started. If this works, won't it be the nicest thing? There are some do-it-yourself restoration methods that are cheaper than this was, but this was pretty cheap. It's about five dollars for a strip. And that's cheap enough if it does a good job in my opinion. And the other methods tend to be a tad finicky. Some people succeed beautifully with them, others find them difficult, and I think probably it's what kind of foam is available to you and how perfectly are you able to get it applied. So this takes a bit of the guesswork out of it, and I sure hope it works. When I get to the other end, I've already noticed and measured there will be a little bit of extra sponge and I think I'm supposed to just snip it off make sure that's down in the channel and then we'll go around the ends with tape getting close there we go let me go find some scissors and tape and I'll be back pair of scissors to snip off the surplus sponge. I don't know if it's good for anything, but there it is. And Jack has suggested electrical tape. I have heard not to use duct tape to compress this end and fasten it down. And I think it's because of the gooey adhesive that duct tape uses. So we're going to try electrical. Here it is. Jack suggests that I stretch it gently as I fasten, so I'm going to try to do that. And of course we want to completely compress the sponge. You may wonder if this is the first time you've replaced a sponge on a bar, how come we can get by with this without removing the clip? And it's because there is room at the end of the needle bed where we insert the sponge bar. The clip goes about to there. My tape will go about to where my finger is. We're not up to the needles yet, so we're okay. Here's my finished bar. I have not done a perfect job, nor is the sponge perfect out of the package, I notice. But it may do the job. So let's see. Okay, trying to insert it. Jack sprays the channel with silicon spray for me and you would not spray an oil spray in the channel because that might soak the sponge but this machine has been out of use a very long time it's one that I just bought as a parts machine I'm sorry if my hand was in your way I'm doing the best I can um, so it, it is dry and this is going in just fine we will soon see if it knits Okay, test with carriage. This is actually a carriage that's not for this machine. It goes to another Singer Studio model I have, but they match up. 
and it looks and feels as though it's going to knit just beautifully. I always like to do a dry run without yarn first so as not to cause some sort of mayhem if there's a problem. But these needles seem to be coming out normally. And we can double check that since we don't have yarn by removing the anchor plate and running without it. That way you can watch the action of the needles. This feels really good. So stay tuned. We'll see if it's durable. And if it doesn't gum up the machine in any unpleasant way, oh goodness, I hope not. But it didn't look bad. Um, I think we might have found a winner. <laughs>